Hello everyone. So today I wanted to talk about uh, links between uh, Jira and Confluence. Now, whenever you create a link between uh, Jira and Confluence, you can of course uh, take a look at the status of your Jira issues. Now, when it comes to these uh, macros, it was always possible to basically create a table and display not only the list of issues, but, on, but also a specific issue. But now there is a new feature, which uh, I believe recently came out. I read, I read about it somewhere on the community and I thought, okay, I need to talk about it. So basically what you can do, let us say this is a new page or Jira improved Jira links in Confluence. So what we'll do, we'll first create, uh, so basically the, the macro is the Jira. And uh, let us say you want to display something from in project, right? So let us see uh, what we can do here. Project is equal to in and uh, insert and it will basically insert uh, the table, right? And this is fine. It was always possible and it was, uh, you know, a great nice feature. And by the way, I made this update video. I mean, in, re in one of my update video recently, in fact, it was today, I talked about uh, changing the owner of Confluence. So that is now available. But anyways, in this video, we are focused on uh, improved links, Jira links. Now this is this is not really different, but the thing which is different now is uh, uh, the way a specific issue link behaves in, uh, in, in Confluence. So we'll do the same thing. I'll insert this, uh, maybe one of the issue. AN50, AN583, and if you press enter, you will get the issue. Now this is where things uh, are different. What you can do now is you can actually, so by, de by default, whenever you cl click on the publish button, it will display this, uh, you know, issue link with a status, but a couple of things. If you, ho if you hover your mouse on top of it, you have the option to uh, do few things which you might not even realize. So you can actually change the status of your, uh, issue. So let me move it to in progress and it is now in progress. This is amazing, right? Also, you can see here that uh, if you click on this copy link or open link in a new tab, it will basically open it in a new tab. But you can also do this full screen view basically to uh, view the actual issue view screen within Confluence. This is great, right? I guess now Jira with this Jira and Confluence are like, it is not just a link, but they are tightly uh, integrated, really, really good feature. I, I like this. I hope they also do the same thing on uh, data center version. But anyways, all right, one more thing. So if you click on the edit, while you're doing this, uh, while you hover your mouse or when you click on, uh, let us say this uh, issue on your conference page, you have the option to also display a card. So let us see how this card looks like. Basically, a card is a uh, uh, you know, a bit more detailed information. I believe it will uh, also show you. Let me try to update the, I mean, good thing is that you can update the status, but I'm trying to also look at the description. Can we also have description here? Let me add a description here. This is the description of the issue. Bullet point number one. All good. So let us save this and go back. Let us see how it looks like. I believe it will display something. Yes, this is good. I can see this description. Uh, can we change the prior priority? No, I guess that is fine. I'm happy with this. Uh, even this, this is looking good. But great thing is that you can also embed the whole issue view. Uh, instead of clicking on this full view, full screen view, you can actually insert this embed. And this will actually insert or basically display the entire issue within your Confluence uh, page. This is really good. And it is just like working within uh, within Jira. So I'm, I'm quite happy with this. And uh, especially this uh, ability to change the progress or not the progress itself, but status is uh, really good. So that is all I wanted to talk about in this video. I hope you enjoyed watching this video and you learned something new. Thank you very much. Bye bye.